Okay, so okay, so this, for example, this is the my artwork. I don't need this, no, for example, I don't need this. So I can just view, click on view and then algebra. Okay. Okay. And then I need to resize my window. So if you're using, for example, um, the browser, so I have to remove this from the tabs and I have to resize my window such that it's not too big. So if my artwork is a little bit smaller, so maybe I can reposition. I can position the, my artwork at the center and then make it a little bit smaller because I don't need a lot of space. Of course, you have to clean your artwork, clean up your artwork. If the labels are there and it's not needed, so it's better to get rid of them. The points and other objects that are not needed. Of course, it, it's art. It should be aesthetically pleasing, right? So maybe I'll make this a little... Thicker also, just like the others. Right. So if I think this is the correct size, then I can just go here. There are two ways to save, online or offline. So if you're offline, for example, you are not connected to the internet, you can just save on your computer, just like saving a file, no? And then if online, you can click on save online and then just type the file name. So Apple logo demo, Isabella. Okay, so if it says save successfully, it means it's already on your profile. So here, this is my profile. I go to uh, my profile and I refresh. So as you can see, this is already here. You know, sometimes the, the sometimes the um, The name is messed up, so let's try again. This should be logo. I think it's a GeoGebra problem. But if I type again here, so as you can see here, it's here. So it's private, meaning it is the only eye that can see it. So if you I if you click on my profile, I can send it to you. I can send the link. You will not see this because this applet is private. But if I want to publish it, I can click here and then publish. So when you submit your, your uh, project, be sure that it's not private because otherwise you won't be able to see it. So it's either public or you shared it with the link. So there's another, uh, if you edit, there is this function here with shared with the link. So if shared with the link, you can only share it, uh, only the person with the link can, can see it. But be sure that it's not private. It's either public or shared with the link. So you can click here and then edit. And then change to shared with the link. So now if you go to my profile, you cannot still see this. I can see this because I'm I'm the owner and I'm logged in. But if I use another window, then uh, I wouldn't be able to see this. Now, what happens if you're offline? So, for example, give me one moment. Let me click an offline GeoGebra.
So, so if I'm offline, so maybe not of, all of you are connected to the internet all the time. So this is this one is a GeoGebra um, uh, offline. This is a GeoGebra offline program, uh, and I have some 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 GeoGebra applet, for example. So I want to save it again. If the things that I don't need, I have to remove them, like this one. I go to view and then uh, algebra. I have to remove the algebra. And then I have to resize. This. So I have to resize my window. Suppose that you are online, you can still do what we did earlier. So save online. But if you want to save on your computer, you can just click save on my computer. And then maybe type uh, the file name, uh, sample offline. Okay. And later, when you go online, so you go to the to your off profile. By the way, to be able to submit your project, you have to have a GeoGebra account. No? And your teachers will help you. Sir Rod will, will help you how to create if you don't have one yet. So how do I upload the the, the um, applet that I saved offline? So I have to go to create and then upload. And then I have to go to the file that I want to upload. Applets. And then, oh yeah, that was the sample offline. Okay, and then I have to type the title, sample offline, applet, and then I can save. Again, you can here choose private or shared with the link, but better to have shared with the link. And then your tags here, what, what does tag mean? Tags means the description of your, your applet, like how, how will the user search for your applet? So for example, here, the user will probably will probably use quadrilateral or uh, all irregular quadrilateral. It does, it's not very important, but if you want your work to be found, no, you can uh, use it. If you want your work to be found, it has to be public. Because even if you put this, if it's shared with the link, then it cannot be um, found by, uh, by other people. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And again, we will give you, we will give you the function art guidebook, the PowerPoint and the guidebook. So this is the, we have how to create your account here, how to save your file on your computer, how to upload, how to submit your artwork. So we will give you this link later, maybe uh, earlier this week because we have to, uh, we have to, um, I have to edit this. To, to add uh, um, other other links.